Hi guys, girls, non-binds, welcome back to my channel. I am Leah Salmatz. Currently, you could be suffering a migraine or a headache, not a migraine, like I imagine Nigella Lawson would say. Which I've warmed in the micro -wave. So here are some five tips to help relieve a migraine and the, uh, the effects of it without the use of uh, pain medication. I think today's society, we're all too quick to kind of just throw a pill at whatever comes our way, I think. So yeah, tip number one would be Tiger Balm or Vicks Vapor Rub. If I'm suffering a tension headache, um, I tend to put like a little bit of Vapor Rub or um, Tiger Balm just on the temples. So yeah, these can be um, very effective. Both, I think, contain camp camphor oil? I think it's camphor oil. It's kind of like a... I should have googled this. <laughs> How camphor oil works, if I remember, it kind of gives this kind of cold um, sensation. So if you've ever put like Vicks Vapor Rub or Tiger Balm on your skin, you'll notice it kind of tingles and then heats up or cools. Also with um, Vicks Vapor Rub, there's eucalyptus and menthol, which is uh, can act as a muscle relaxant. So most migraines and headaches tend to happen around our, <laughs> I don't want to say head because that's obvious. It's around our temples, our forehead. Tip number two would be lavender. You can get lavender oil, but I think I'm actually allergic to that. I'm, I've got very sensitive skin. But yeah, lavender. So if you get a sprig of lavender, I like that word, we don't use it enough, sprig. But if you get lavender and rub it between your hands and then rub it on your forehead, if you rub it just between your eyebrows, it acts similar to the Tide Balm and Vicks Vapor Rub where it will give this soothing sensation and it also smells nice. It's kind of like a relaxing um, scent to lavender. You can also rub it on your pillow and um, yeah, smell nice. Number three would be a hot and cold compress. So um, you can get like a, a washcloth or something else, bathe it in hot water, not too hot, obviously, you don't want to burn yourself. But yeah, just it, warm, <laughs> warm water, you know? And place it over your eyes and your forehead. You can even sit it on the top of your head. Leave it for about five minutes until it starts cooling down and then bathe it in cold water. You know, again, not too cold where, you know, you end up in more pain. And it's that thing of hot and cold. It helps to um, relieve uh, the muscles um, because headaches usually are caused by tense muscles. Most aches and pains are caused by tense muscles. So this will work on a variety of tense muscles. How many times can I say that? I don't know. Tip number four, um, a bath or a shower. So again, this works in conjunction with that hot and cold um, technique where it will relieve the muscles, hopefully, and relax them. Obviously, again, not too hot and not too cold. Number five, a bit of an alternative one, um, binaural beats. So yeah, I don't know if I pronounce that properly, but that's how I pronounce it. Binaural beats are different sound frequencies. Um, so I think 432 hertz is uh, one for headaches. That could be mistaken though. So I'm a big believer in using sound to kind of um, boost moods and also, you know, there are physiological effects from sound um, which are now kind of being looked into by science, but I think it's been around for a millennia and we're only just remembering this. So yeah, there are a number of free um, binaural beats videos tailored to relieving migraines um, here on YouTube, so have a look. So the important thing to remember with migraines and headaches is that they are always caused by something. So um, to prevent migraines in future, it's probably best to kind of analyze what's been causing the uh, migraine to begin with. So the number one cause could be dehydration. So um, you might not be getting enough water into your body. So it's important to um, try and get a good amount of water into your body, enough to just you know, keep your uh, muscles and everything else functioning properly. Also, it's really important to drink uh, plenty of water, fluids and things in hot weather. It's, yeah, for me, it's self-explanatory. I don't know, maybe for you lovely people out there, it might not be, but yeah. 
Number two, um, lack of sleep. So this is actually a big one for me along with um, cause number three, I think. Lack of sleep can cause uh, migraines and things. You're not getting enough um, sleep to regenerate cells in your body and yeah. Um, also lack of sleep means your body's tense and things, so a lot of migraines could be caused by tension headaches from lack of sleep. Cause number three, so stress. Um, so if you've got, um, if you're going through something um, where you're just constantly thinking and thinking, again, it will cause tension in the body, um, tension in the neck, and yeah, when you overthink anyway, you're kind of like, me anyway, like I, I have like frown lines from overthinking, so um, yeah, your muscles and things will be tense, so they are technically tension headaches. So have a look at what's causing you stress, see if there's something you can do to reduce that level of stress on yourself. Common cause number four, prolonged screen time. Now we are in an age where we are constantly looking at uh, laptop screens, PC screens and phone screens. So the um, the light in a lot of these screens and things, um, even though they've improved over the years, they are still a uh, blue light and this can damage the eyes with prolonged use, of course. So um, with my glasses, I do wear glasses. I am as blind as a bat without them. Um, with my glasses, they do have a film, a coating on them that reduces blue light. So that helps when I'm, uh, you know, just, glued to a screen and things. I think eye strain is a bit different to a migraine, but eye strain can lead to a migraine, so yeah. And common cause number five, um, diet and allergies. So there might be something in your diet that is kind of causing you to have these migraines. You might be having an allergic reaction without you even knowing. So yeah, um, the obvious ones could be too much caffeine. You know, I'm kind of a, um, a sinner of that, I guess. <laughs> if you feel like you're, um, intake of caffeine is too much then by all means try and reduce it in some way or combat it by drinking more water. Yeah I'd advise going to your doctor if you feel that you're allergic to something um, it could be wheat, it could be gluten, it could be dairy, it could be a number of things but if you um, are really concerned about something in your diet causing you migraines then definitely talk to your um, GP or doctor and get that looked at. So yeah, if you are currently um, suffering a migraine, I am very sorry to hear that and hopefully these tips and things will help alleviate it in some way. Uh, my first and foremost warning would be to immediately turn off whatever you're watching this video on and um, yeah, try and put your head down and relax. So, and um, just a bit of a disclaimer as well, I am by no means a medical professional. If your migraines or headaches are persisting on a uh, prolonged basis, then please go to a GP and get that looked at. So if you found that helpful, do subscribe, guys, girls, Tom Vines. Um, yeah, if you can't currently see the subscribe button, it's just down to the left. Well, it'd be your right, my left. And if you have any home tips, remedies um, yourselves, do feel free to drop a comment down below. Um, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind, and bye. <laughs> Framing dabs. <laughs> oh my God. Trust me, these work. Tim number. And just between the, what are those? What are those? For about five minutes and still it, uh, again, this works with in uh, ritual? Ritual, the right word. <sighs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> it is now. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs>